Welcome to Rotor Ride, everybody, and today we are playing Most Durable Quad. We've got two teams that are going to be competing to create the most durable freestyle drone. Let's bring out our two teams. Over here, we've got Team Hot Props. Oh, woo! Hot Props! And over here, we've got Team Carbon Splinters. Woo! They're already winning. They're already winning on energy alone. <laughs> Each team is going to get one of these drones. This is a Rotor Riot Flow frame with blaster motors, and this is a Rotor Riot CL1 frame, also with blaster motors. Your jobs are to modify these drones to make them as durable as possible while still remaining freestyle capable. So they're going to have to be able to complete a power loop, and then they're going to run full speed into a wall. Each team is going to be using glass nylon props. You look at them too hard, they're breaking. You're each going to get five sets. If you run out of props, you're done. Anything that prevents the drone from being able to fly normally means you lose. The one thing we'll give you are blaster motors. When you buy blaster motors, they come with a replacement program. So we will let you guys replace one motor each. Both these frames are also meant to be very durable but they're gonna be pushed to the limits. And I know they're gonna be pushed to the limits because each team is gonna fly the other team's drone. So with that, let's figure out which quad you guys are going to get. We're gonna settle this good old game of rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh. Oh. You guys get to pick your quad. Which frame is gonna be like more durable? I'm thinking just, this one has shorter standoff, so it's that a little bit more nice compact. So. I think you're right. Shorter standoff and this one has camera cage in to mm -hmm. provide some rigidity. Yep. I think the flow is the one to take. We're going with the flow. Yep. Well, I guess uh, we're going with this one, Jeffrey. We, we have been decided. One. Team Hot Props gets the Rotor Riot flow. Team Carbon Splinters gets the CL1. They made the wrong decision. So in this competition, one of the teams is going to be a loser, and one of you guys is going to be a winner. The team that is most successful in this competition is going to pick one of you guys in the comments section to give a brand new frame, either a CL1 or a Flow, and a set of blaster motors. You guys each have four hours to prepare your quads and a budget of $100. I don't care how you spend it. So guys, let's get to it. What I'm thinking is just make a simple X and we're gonna bolt the frame right to it. What's gonna be important is to have something to go up and over the props. Yeah, we definitely need something to cover the top and the bottom. Cover every D and protect the props at all times too. The metal should be plenty strong, right? Metal. And it's and it's kind of light. It's really light. Yeah, I think it's gonna be our best bet though. I think it's wood will probably break. So the rules are pretty relaxed, to be totally honest, because we're allowed to use anything we want. The biggest rule that we gotta pay attention to, we gotta use old glass nylon props, which they just break like potato chips. So I think the biggest thing we're gonna need to do is make sure the props don't break. Protecting the quad is almost secondary. What if we go to like Michael's, you know how they have all the floral foam? Foam, like a big like piece of foam on the top? I mean. And like foam on the bottom? It would be like a bumper and it's not gonna collapse. It's foam, it's floral foam. Okay. So it's not gonna. make sure it stays yeah. on. They probably didn't think to go to Michael's. They're, They're probably, probably gonna like go to Lowe's. At the hardware store. <laughs> we got $100 to spend on supplies. I think there's only one stop we need to make. Home Depot. If you can't build supplies. it in Home Depot, it can't be built. <laughs> That's how I think about it. So I know they sell like little small sheets of metal. 100 metal. bucks is plenty to buy a couple sheets of metal, drill bits, uh, we're and get ice cream. cream. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I got Slurpee. What about like like this on bottom? And then we'll use the fiberglass pieces to help protect the motors and the props. Yeah. What are we gonna do about the battery though? We'll figure out a way we'll cut out a section of this and we'll just okay. mount it on top of the battery. finished way faster than the other team. I think our cage was done before they got done shopping. Yeah, what do we have, an hour, you think? Total everything, shopping, and back including here. Including the driving. Including maybe the an driving. Hour. It was so and easy. Slurpee stop. It seemed Put like it we together. should lose, though, because of how simple ours did take. Like, it was like an hour, and they spent maybe, like, to their complete four and a half hours. Maybe mark. we could have spent a little more time. <laughs> and we go to, like, get it in the air, and it's not lifting. So we're thinking, like, oh, is it too heavy? It must I mean, be too heavy. It must be too heavy. That's what I was thinking the whole time. But Jeff pointed out that like it sounded weird. It was like a 
Like it's, 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 <laughs> do that one more time. It was like a Hur! It just didn't sound yeah, right. And so. it's because one of the props was spinning backwards. He inspected that. I was really weird. I was like, oh man, we spent like a total of 20 minutes building this and it doesn't work. <laughs> we reversed that motor. She flew like a champ. She flew like a champ with a cage. It looks kind of crazy and it's a little scary. It sounds to... crazy. Perfect. What have you done? Made it durable, wet. wet. Oh my God. Yeah, it's what pulling all the amps. The, <laughs> the foam, I think, is going to be really good at just kind of rounding the edges off the quad and taking away any sort of sharp points that might impact the wall and do damage. But we still, we have to protect the props. We go to Lowe's and Jamie has the idea to use these PEX tubing. It's a kind of stiff but flexible tubing. Some people use it to make hula hoops or something. I cut this tubing to make an insert that's about this long on both sides so that our connection's extra tight. It would actually take pulling it apart straight to be able to get it to come apart. It wasn't originally supposed to be a hula hoop. You work with what you know. We were building the frame on it, the tic-tac-toe board, and then it was like, oh, let's protect all of the corners and put a she circle around it. She had the idea to make it. a circle. That's where the hula hoop it came just, in. Then you use what you know. <laughs> building our baby. So like you can see, like the props are well, not quite protected, are they? It's but pretty I mean, close, but. That's it, we're out of time. We're out of time, yeah, and I think it's only that one corner that they touch. They'd have to get like the perfect angle. Okay. Tected against impacts from every side, and top and bottom. I don't think they're gonna be able to break it. Pilots, the time has come. You've built your quads, and now it's time to put them to the test. Each team is going to power loop their drone to prove that it is still freestyle capable, and then hand the controller off to the other team where it will meet its fate against the wall of death. We get to the spot, everybody's ready to roll. We're sitting there waiting, twiddling our thumbs, and then like 15 minutes later, we see the opposing team way over there. Me and JB are hanging out because I go to exactly where the pin sent us. We were center. literally on top of the pin. So no we're one sitting is there. there and we're waiting and... They're just farting around. I could just see the sun going down behind the trees. Bar and then Barbell flying. puts up a quad and is just... And we're like, well, we're not just going to sit here and wait. We're going to fly while we're waiting. We went ahead and put goggles on because we were just going to not waste the light. The golden hour. And then we look over and we're like, I think that's true because we saw him walking. No With respect it. for other people's time. And then once they get over there, they're like, we didn't see you. <laughs> yeah, oh, you had they your, couldn't see the whole group of us with a big wall. You were orbiting me with a drone. What do you mean you didn't see me? But realistically, it was just miscommunication and no, not like. It was bad decision making. And I'm not going to leave it to you to figure out whose decision making it was. Corey says your actions were irreprehensible. Irreprehensible well, isn't he wasn't there. even a word. I have here a bag of Original H. Oh, they only come in bags of two. You guys each get three sets. I think we'll have enough. Tell you what, I think Carbon Splinters gets four sets because they were here on time. Help put whoa, up the wall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. in the time it took Come you to that power loop. Their power loop was terrible. I think our power loop went excellent. Yeah, it tapped the ground a little bit. Yeah, but that's <laughs> inevitable. Does a power loop usually have a landing in the middle? No. no. And then you know what we did? Power looped it twice. Clean, twice. Beautifully. I'm pretty sure Bardwell tapped on his power loop too. He tapped Mine two or three times worse. actually. I think he landed, disarmed, rearmed, and finished the power loop. All right, Jamie. Right. Full throttle. Into and, that wall. And cock it to the side to hit yeah. it straight on one arm. Oh my god. I think you might have broke a prop in the grass. 
That would be the best case scenario. So hard. Oh, actually, it's a. Oh! Yeah! Don't know. You don't got to. No, no, no. Don't unplug it. Put it back down. It's not going to work. From the first time that they were about to smash into the wall, I'm thinking, we got this. This thing is not going to budge at all. Until it hit. Until it hit. It did kind of crinkle a little bit. It's a big thing flying through the air. But how about the things we put on the front, though? The little. I don't think that did a damn thing. Metal is easy to bend back, though. That's All it took was a little bending it back into shape, put a prop on there, it's good to go. It definitely flexes more than I thought. We should have done all four motor screws. Yeah. Or we should have just doubled it this up. This hole makes it weak there. It's only got to bend that much. I think we're going to beat the longevity. Because once theirs breaks, it's done. Ours yeah. can be bent back. All right, Corey, smash that thing. There you go. Okay, here we go. At least our cell flies like a fly. Oh, yeah. Okay. It hit. That right there is like it hit right there. Wait, 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 wait. wait. You? Yeah. Is it two, two yeah. props out? I knew this prop wasn't protected. <laughs> this could be props. a prop bottle. The exact prop that I was like, oh, this prop is sticking out a little bit. That was the first one to break. Again, if our circle, if our hoop would have been a little bit larger, we would have been good. Oh my God. Does this thing even yeah, fly? Yeah, it barely. What do you think? I think it's going back. Oh, <laughs> he hit it flat though, he hit it flat though. What happened? It's good. I was pitched into it to try and make it as fast as possible. Yeah, it definitely bends. <laughs> what you bend in it back? Is he allowed to do that? Yeah. yeah. How many props do you break? Two. <laughs> Three to two right now. Okay. <laughs> Did, did I get a good front flip on it? I don't know what you got, but it, I heard a sound. Two broken props, and broken tape. And a zip tie. Oh my God, he separated it from uh -oh. the base. But, now we're getting somewhere. just zip ties. We're How just many zip props, ties. two? Two. Two props. Well, yeah. You guys are up so one on props. No adding zip tape or ties. You guys can just, you, just you can bend things got? back. I mean, as long as I'm not using new material, right? You can reuse existing tape. Yeah. That sounds all right. That's probably fine. Right. I'm just sure. rearranging it. That's like, like how that. they were rearranging their metal. Totally we works. have one more set of props. Oh, we're going to win by default. It's cutting. It's the props breaking because it's hitting this. You might have to lose the hat after all. Oh, it's hitting, comes it's off. hitting it's this. Super wood. What are we going to lose? The hat's coming off. <laughs> Take the hat off. That's coming off. Good. She like picked the speed. I up like the sound of that. That to. sounded good. That's We're gonna run out of times that we can bend this back before it just snaps. Oh, that's a yeah. good Yeah! We're still in it! Yeah. You guys are in trouble too. Make it happen, Cap. Ooh, she's a little thick. Oh boy, this is speed. Oh boy. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Drop that thing, bro. <laughs> it's impossible. Oh man. Team Carbon Splinters crushed it. Just absolutely annihilated Team Hot Props. Yeah. 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 How many more hits do you think yours could take? I think you think hits all day. That's what I want to find out. I don't out. know about all day, but it'll take a couple. We'll even put modern, you know, durable props on here. And we are gonna run the gauntlet in our warehouse all the way down and just see how many more times can this thing smash the ground. See that? Look, didn't even break at all. <laughs> see, this thing is legit. That's the slow mo that I must have been really cooking. Look at this. Look at what you've done to our wall of death. But this quadcopter, a... this will not fly. Yeah, this will. is not enough of a prop to fly on. Oh, no, no, no. Props the quad is basically fine. The CL1 yeah. is holding up crazy good. We did rip one motor off, I guess. All right. Good game, guys. Good episode. Thank you guys for joining us for the most durable quad challenge. Our winning team is Team Carbon Splinters, but the real winners. One of you guys. If you guys go ahead and comment carbon splitters for the win, we are going to hook you up with a CL1 frame or a rotor yeah, ride flow frame. And we will pick the winner randomly. And don't forget, you're also going to get a free set of blasters too. And I'm really impressed with what both teams did because I think both drones on the inside of their contraptions are pretty much functional. It might need like a new wire or something like that, but 
they're pretty well protected. Basically you guys did awesome. Go. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to smash that like button <laughs> and we'll see you next time. We're gonna talk and okay. we'll whisper. Remember to, uh, whisper the truth. Uh, to uh, you. This <laughs> is never going to happen. I have to make an MR. Yeah, I'm just straight cut, you know? No, if you wouldn't have wasted that much time, we wait, you might have had a chance. But other than that, you guys did piss poor at best. <laughs> <laughs> So, no, they did a great job. Yeah, it was hard. We work. just did better.